Holy moly, this is breaking news. President Biden is dropping out of the presidential race. Uh, he sent a letter on X and to the American people on his own website. The letter reads as follows. My fellow American, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation and lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and in expanding affordable health care to record number to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once-in-a-century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy, and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, and while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me re-elected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do. When we do it together, we just have to remember we are the United States of America. Joe Biden. That would have been an amazing speech. And I think this is the kind of language that unifies the country, that this is the kind of process that does so. And Joe Biden is actually responding to millions of voters who have been asking for him to not seek re-election because we have a common goal in mind, which is the future free and fair elections, democratic process of the United States, the betterment of our country, the continuation of all of the policies that Joe Biden has helped to make possible during his presidency. This is, if we could have this person right now, that would be the president of the United States. No questions asked. This kind of language, this kind of energy, this kind of consistency. And the benefit here is that everything Joe Biden has worked on, all of his bipartisan policies and support, all of his 50 plus years of experience isn't going to waste. It's just the beginning peg, the beginning step on the ladder for the next person who's running. This is amazing. This is good news, although there's a lot of work ahead. There's lots of things for the Democratic Party to do in order to get going, um, and they need to start doing that today. But it probably won't happen until this upcoming week. We have days, not years, uh, to prepare. And Donald Trump has had years to basically plot and plan. This, this is a great Sunday and hopefully a winning strategy.